Hey, how's it going, trade of you? Happy <clears throat> weekend. Today, we talk about Bitcoin. More specifically, I'm going to show you something that Bitcoin has never done, and most people didn't even bother to look. <clears throat> First off, we are short on Bitcoin for some time now. I will uh, show you a trade that's active here. Um, let's go over MACD. We have a pretty decent <laughs> divergence over here, right at that 69K top, as you guys can see. High, <clears throat> high higher high, lower high, beautiful divergence. But something that nobody really focuses on is um, price action. The markets talk to us and their only language is price action. Most people don't know that. So now, and I've been posting this on Twitter in our community, now that we've broken this area over here, the 39.8K, the next overall support comes down into this area here, you know? right there so that's about 28500 and if that breaks this will be the first time bitcoin ever 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 in its history corrects further than its actual price action structure so this is a low this is a high this is a higher low and then we move up this is a low this is a high this is a higher low and if I continue to do this over and over and over again, Bitcoin has never broken its actual price action structure, even here. You can see that the push from the downside never really breaks. And if I do it here, we see the exact same thing. So if we break this this time, that's going to be a, the first actual correction here. Look at this right there. Support. Look, structure, previous structure from its bull run is here. Never really breaks. And if I do this over and over and over and over again, it never breaks its previous structure low. Low. <clears throat> so if this happens, guys, this will be the first time this happens in Bitcoin's history. So you can see here, look, same thing. Like it's not breaking. Oh, goodness me. It's not breaking its previous structure lows. So I can continue doing this and you'll never see it break below the previous low. See, push and then pull back. See the lows, the lows, the higher lows, they just keep going up. And if we break this one, the current one, well, then we go into something new. Bitcoin has never broken its structure before. With the current momentum now and the divergence on the, on the, on the, weekly chart, I fully believe that it's going to be going down. Second of all, ever since Bitcoin became a real investment, I mean real by being injected with billions and trillions of dollars, um, it's never really experienced any kind of major um, market, fun, fun, fundamental market sentiment. And right now what we have is inflation and we have interest rates rising. For those of you that you know, are here to huddle and uh, think that you're just going to buy something and it's going to go to the moon and you're going to become a millionaire, um, I'm going to teach you something that uh, you probably don't know yet. Interest rates impact loans, big time. Money savvy people take out loans to make investments. People, normal people, take out a loan to buy a TV, to buy a car, to buy a house. A money savvy person takes out a loan, buys Bitcoin, and now when the loans are getting more expensive, people are cutting out their loans, hence liquidating their Bitcoin, Ethereum's, Shiba's, XLM's, Litecoin's, and so forth. And as you can see, major, major red day. And it's only going to get worse. And especially if we break this level here, watch it, because it can drop down to 10, maybe below, because the next structure bottoms come around the 10K mark. Okay? And if that breaks, like here, this and this, we're looking at like four grand, you know? So I honestly think we can we can make a major shift towards the downside and a lot of people are going to lose money, including many people that are watching this because I've been speaking to people, friends and, and, um, and friends of friends who are all contacting me and saying, hey, what's going to happen with Bitcoin? And I'm like, well, I show them this and I tell them, look, and some people are like, um, well, I'm going to wait for it to recover. And I'm like, okay. You can dedicate the next year, two years, three years, or accept the fact that it might ever recover beyond 69,000. Maybe it could perish, just like in the dot-com, by the way. A lot of companies perished. Keeping in mind that in the dot-com, most people don't know this, in the dot-com, there were companies that were valued in the hundreds of millions of dollars and multi-million dollars that have never made a profit, meaning they never sold anything, zero revenue, yet people were buying their shares, just like Many people now are buying coins that are totally worthless and mean nothing and do nothing. 
they're just buying them. And they all missed out on taking a profit and taking that profit and shorting this because this has momentum to go way down because right now we're coming with force to the 28 500 area and if we break that as i just showed you this will be the first time we make a lower low first time that we make a lower low in terms of price action structure and if that happens then it's all downhill from there what happens after that i think that um, this could be the year where based on everything i see in, in in terms of analysis 2022 should be the year where a lot of cryptocurrencies go poof and they disappear which means eventually it will be time to start buying the good ones because don't forget that in the 90s apple almost disappeared you know um not only apple many companies that were amazing companies disappeared overnight bitcoin seems like an amazing thing the only thing i think it's used for is mostly illegal transactions it's used a lot by scammers and uh, um, it doesn't really have any kind of real term value right like what does it do like tesla sells cars what is bitcoin you know try to use logic so right now bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency that came out so it's pumped the hell out um and like i said if it breaks that i'm not saying it's going to disappear but what i am saying is that there is a high possibility it could be going way below twenty-eight thousand. Um, is there a probability it could disappear? Absolutely. Even though that probability is low, it exists. Um, sometimes in the markets, you need to expect the unexpected. Overall, very bearish. And um, I am very happy with my shorts. As you guys can see here, I've got some shorts and I'm going to continue to short Bitcoin. Uh, I have one more account on the laptop that has much bigger positions. I'm trading CFDs, so I'm just shorting it there. Um, and I'm shorting it on Binance on my, on my phone. Um, and I'll continue to short until i'm proven otherwise for the time being all i see is bearish momentum and i think a lot of coins are gonna go unfortunately bust for example shiba or dogecoin those ones for sure could disappear completely um, um aside from that good luck i hope you guys are not huddling and are using some kind of sound strategy to make money in investing and trading my name is dennis from primetraders.com thank you very much make sure you check out the signature below if you're looking to become a real trader and get this kind of knowledge uh, in advance before, of course, you start losing massive amounts of money, join us. Thank you, and I'll see you later.